Judges proclaim this edible temple the winner of the exhibit with its sugar pillars and cookie base. Organizers say it'll attract attention of many of the spectators. And I'm still kind of waiting for the uh, chocolate news set. It attracted my attention. <laughs> you were, I would eat the like set that, if it were yeah. chocolate right mm -hmm. now. We should have gone there instead of running today. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll know next time. Next time. <laughs> well, uh, the weather that we had today was incredible, wasn't it? But uh, I'll let you in on what we're going to have this week. Before I get to that news, let's take a look outside. We're expecting a few high clouds to stick around tonight and some fog to move in at the coast. And that'll stick around for just a little while in the morning. We hit our high today at 12 noon of 84 at the coast and 86 downtown. Normal for this time of year, 73. We were warm and we liked it. Sunrise tomorrow, 60. 29. That fog will stick around just for a little while and then a mostly sunny afternoon with a high of 75 degrees of the coast and 77 downtown. Currently outside it's 52 degrees, relative humidity 71%. Our winds are calm and our visibility 15 miles. In the west we have a high pressure ridge that's been keeping us pretty warm. Oops, got a little caught there. <laughs> Jen's giggling. Well, we've got a cold front that's moving in that's shoving that high pressure over. And so for that, that means, for us, that means night and morning low clouds and fog that will thicken over the next few days. Our temperatures are going to cool down. We'll have mostly sunny afternoons and a nice sea breeze. 80s all across the Tri-Counties area today. It was very, very nice. 88 in Buellton, 89 Santa Inez, 86 in downtown Santa Barbara, and 84 at the coast. Highs across the nation, there is that high pressure ridge and the trough, so it's warm in the southwest and cold in the north and northeast. Significant amounts of lake effect snow falling right now around the um, Great Lakes areas. These are the kind of highs they would normally see in early January, not early November. But for us, we're in luck tonight. Lows in the 40s and the 50s with low clouds and fog at the coast spreading just a teeny bit inland. Tomorrow morning, it should burn off fairly early. We'll have some high clouds, a little bit of early morning clouds and fog, then mostly sunny with highs in the 70s and some 80s. Very nice tomorrow. We're going to start the cooling process. Here is our marine forecast for the channel, low and high tide information, and for our extended forecast, it looks pretty good still for fall. About normal for our temperatures. The fog returns. Our temperatures are going to start cooling down. And you know, for fall, it could be worse because think of how it is in the uh, northeast right mm -hmm. now. No so. snow, no rain, no bad stuff for us. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Angie. Thank you. And coming up in sports, Oxnard's Paul Stankowski in position to win a golf tournament. Highlights next. In the NFL, the San Francisco 49ers clash with the Dallas Cowboys. And the Los Angeles Lakers try to soar over the Atlanta Hawks.